course, as a children, we just allowed to play nearby the bomb shelter inside of the temple courtyard. Then I remember after lunch, then the South Vietnamese soldiers yelled for the children to run. Kim Phuc Phan Thi took us back to the day her life changed. She was just nine years old. And of course, she ran as fast as she could. And I look up, I saw the airplane, and I saw four bombs landing like that. The napalm caught her skin on fire. I still remember what I thought that moment. Oh my goodness, I got burned. Then I, I would be ugly. Then people will see me different way. But I was so terrified. She thanks God her feet were okay at the time so she could run out onto the road where 20 year old Nick Oot, an AP photographer had set up. And I hold my camera. I took a picture of the boy one second, he died on my camera. But my eye keep the picture. I look in the pagoda, I saw she came running with her arm running like this. He snapped the Pulitzer Prize winning picture, then stopped to pour water on Fanti. He decided he had to help, so he took her and the other injured children to a hospital. But they were told to go to another hospital. I tell three times she said no. Then I get upset. I hold my media pass. I say I'm media. If she died, my picture front page, every new paper tomorrow. And they worry about I say that. They took her right away inside. The tactic worked. He saved my life. I owe him. And he, he, he became a part of my family. Phan Thi lived in Vietnam for years until in 1992 during a brief plane stop. After coming back from Russia, she defected in Canada. For many years, she hated the photo, feeling embarrassed. Then she started to embrace it. Now I am a friend. I am a helper. I am a mother. I'm a grandmother, and I am survivor calling out for peace. She even started her own charity to help impoverished children. But for years, the burn scars caused her pain and restricted movement. Then a few years ago, Fanti reached out to Dr. Jill Weibel here in Miami. She's advanced using lasers to treat damaged skin. This is a fractional ablative laser and it vaporizes the scar tissue. So I always say it's like boiling water on the stove. It, it literally steams off, but they're the tiniest holes the human body's ever seen. And then the human body is able to heal that to normal skin. Dr. Weibel's doing the work pro bono because for her, Fanti is a symbol of peace and hope. The 12th time. <laughs> and um, yes, absolutely, after those treatment, uh, my pain is so much better. Nick Oot keeps in regular contact with Fanti and continues to document what happened to the girl in the picture. But uh, she looked better. I'm really so happy. Look, she always smiling. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.